are here. It's a Friday. Welcome. I'm Danielle. I'm Jessica. I'm Bianca. And I'm Jessie. All right. We are tackling the what vinyl can I layer question today. So we have a bunch of different vinyls from Caesar brand and we're going to let you know what you can and can't layer and on which type of vinyl you should layer, which type of vinyl you should not layer on top of because there are some vinyls that don't play nice with others and would rather just be on the fabric itself and not layered on top of another type of vinyl, like an easy weed or a stretch. So we're going to kind of walk you through the, like our most popular heat transfer vinyls and let you know what can and can't be layered and what you should stay away from. All right. Questions? No, just a hey from Here. Teresa from Long Island. All right. So we have we have two designs for you today, and so they're very springish because think spring, everybody. And it's like sixty-five <laughs> degrees outside today. It's gorgeous. Maybe not by Monday, but today <laughs> Maybe we're not doing by really good. Hour when yeah, exactly. storms. <laughs> yeah. But right now we're thinking spring, so we're gonna go with our bunny transfer. Did you mean to do that? No, I didn't. But <laughs> that's kind of cool. But it works. Um, <laughs> hi, bunny. All right. So we have three different types of vinyls that we're gonna, well, th this one's just two, but we're going with Easy Weed, which is this hand, and Glitter, which is this hand. I don't need to uh, eliminate the space on its belly for my glitter. Glitter is fine to go on Easy Weed. So that we are good with. If a vinyl is not fine to go on another type of vinyl, then you could definitely knock out the space and and then it would you know be fine to print because that part will be touching the shirt fabric but for this case we're good to go so our first layer is going to be easy weed and when layering vinyl oh non-stick sheet yep i have it right here thank you see i told you i didn't need it i totally love yeah, it. yeah exactly <laughs> you need the other four things that were in that pile but all right so we are at our standard 305 degrees for easy weed I have my timer set to 10 to 15 seconds, but when you layer, you do not follow those rules. Your very first layer is just gonna tack it down for a couple seconds, peel it up, and then put your next layer on. If you leave it on for your full 10 to 15 seconds, your first layer of vinyl will kind of shrink on the shirt, so then your following layers won't line up quite as nice as you need it to. So that's, that's your number one trick. So get your vinyl set, I put that on right here. Couple seconds and this is gonna get it down for you. It's on there. It's not going anywhere. And don't worry, because your follow-up layers are gonna also get it down and get it on there. All right. So the next layer I'm gonna do is my other set of easy weed. And what I'm gonna do is just I don't know where the nose is going to go, and that's why this is <laughs> this is the nose part. So I'm just gonna put this there and then just lay this on top to make sure I'm in the right spot, which I'm not, so. You don't wanna do too many layers because then it's not gonna adhere properly. Yeah, so we're gonna go over what can be layered and what cannot be layered. Um, but to answer your question, glitter can be layered, but there are rules and restrictions. Okay. And as she's showing you, the glitter will be layered on top, but glitter yes. on the bottom, no. And then for, is there a brand of vinyl that is better to layer? Any do's or don'ts? Um, really, it's not one that sticks out more than the other. Um, it's just what you're used to working with, what you're comfortable working with, and if it can be layered. So Caesar Easy Weed is the most popular that we sell, so that's why we're working with that one, and that is our bottom layer. Okay, so I put on two layers of Easy Weed, and now I'm putting glitter on top. Easy weed, glitter, you are good to go. Glitter is fine with easy weed underneath, does not need to be onto the fabric. So we are good to go with this set. We're just gonna tack this one down. Glitter does require a higher temp, but I'm not, I'm not gonna bump it up just for our exercises today but always follow the instructions that we have on the website. <laughs> Very important. Because I'm not gonna wash this shirt, so that's the main difference. Like if, if I'm washing, I absolutely need to follow my instructions and I have to get my temperature back up, but for presentation purposes. <laughs> All right, so now 
now my, my bunny is all done and everything looks good. I'm going to tack it down one last time for my full time of the 10 to 15 seconds. It's just so everything, you know, adheres to the shirt and it yes. gets the full time allowed. Now, if you did glitter on top or on the bottom and then try to do easy weed directly on it, not okay. Glitter does not like anything on top because it has texture. So that's kind of the trick with a lot of things for lightering. That's so cute. A lot of the, the items, when you're deciding on what should or should not be layered, consider if the vinyl has texture. If there is texture to it or a shiny, shiny finish, like the holographic, the glitter, um, metal, those three don't want anything on top. So you can't have them be on your bottom layer. So definitely keep that in mind. If there's a texture, a thickness, a sheen, do not put that on the bottom layer. That always needs to be on top. Um, they said, would a knockout of the design be better to layer versus vinyl on top of each? If you have a vinyl that cannot be layered, then you can make a knockout area for that. You just have to be careful because some people experience... Um, I don't know how to call it, shrinking Yeah. when layering. So that's why if you do have a vinyl that can be layered, it's better to just layer it and do it correctly, follow the steps. Um, but if not, then you do want to leave that knockout space. Electric, you do not want to layer. Electric, um, no, electric metal. Electric, you can. Electric? Mm -hmm. You can layer on top of electric. We're doing electric next. Oh, I thought they were talking about with the glitter. Yeah, so electric, electric can on be. the bottom. That's this row. Mm -hmm. We're good. Same. Yeah, so we're good for the electric. Just not Next. on top of glitter. Right. Yeah. So the ones that you should stay away from being on the bottom are glitter, metal, and holographic. Those have a shiny sheen to it. There's definitely a texture to the glitter especially, so no bottom layer. But your Easy Weed, Stretch, Electric, Extra. We don't sell really, there's no more extra oh, really left over, no. But those, oh. those three are gonna be fine underneath of certain ones. And I'm gonna go over that more. But <laughs> your, the one that's like, absolutely amazing to put underneath any vinyl type is easy weed stretch and i honestly feel that that the reason behind that is because easy weed stretch has a matte finish so it doesn't have any type of sheen to it at all your next best option then to go from would be uh you can do easy weed on the bottom layer or um Easy Weed Electric on the bottom layer, but for those two, you can't put metal on top. You can put other ones on top, but metal is the only one that doesn't, metal doesn't really play nice with others. So kind of keep that one separate and let that one touch the shirt fabric. But those, the three main ones that you can layer and feel good about it are Easy Weed on the bottom, Stretch on the bottom, and Electric on the bottom. And then the three that you should not put on the bottom <laughs> are glitter, uh, metal, and holographic. Hey, um, Virginia, lucky you. Took off of work today. Um, <laughs> Terry says hers always feels like cardboard when she's layering, even using easy weed. Is it something she's doing wrong? And Queenie said, what is electric? So we sell these awesome Caesar color guides. So I don't know if you could see. Yeah, you're good. I'll zoom in. You can see the, uh, this is the electric here. It has like a nice like a shine, to, shine it. to it. So it's kind of like foil, kind of like metal, just not thick and not thin. <laughs> <laughs> it does have a good, I like to use electric for something that I just need a little bit of glitz to it, but not glitter. Yeah, like a little bit of pop. Yeah, like you just want it to be a little bit different, but you're just like, eh, glitter's too much. So electric is like the the perfect balance. And Terry with the cardboard. Um, That's an all in how many layers you do. Mm -hmm. 
and whether you knock out the layer underneath. So this technique is ideal for, you know, like the bunny, for example. If I had, let's say I wanted to do like a rainbow bunny and do, you know, pink and then another color right on top and then another color on top and it's layering like the same thing and building it up. A lot of layers, like more than three, you're gonna feel that thickness and you're gonna feel that it's sort of rough and tough on the shirt. So in that case, knock out those underneath layers and give yourself, I, I would probably give myself like a border around it so that way when I go to layer it, some of my shirt color comes through and that will help lessen the stiffness you feel. Whenever the shirt is able to come through, you break the stiffness of the vinyl, allowing it to move a little bit more. So when you look for SVG files, if you notice that they're, you know, usually they always show them on a white background. If you see the white coming through different sections of the design, go with that graphic because that's not gonna be, no matter how many layers of vinyl you put on it, that's gonna feel more comfortable on your fabric. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And Queenie, um, Caesar does sell the electric. It's a part of their line. And Jerry says, I have a customer who wants a quote in glitter and one word in holographic. Will it work? It will not work for layering, but you can press the holographic first because it's a thinner layer. Make sure it's separated and then press the glitter because glitter is thicker. Yeah, for anything that's going to be, you know, glitter over here, holographic over here, easy way here, that's fine. You can put out many different types of vinyl on your shirt as you'd like. But as soon as you say that you want to put it on top of another layer, that's when you need to make sure it's compatible and it will work. All right, I just wanna get my flower set here because I don't remember how I cut this. <laughs> Jerry said, thanks, sweetie. Mm -hmm. But we're going to show you, this is going to be, um, this is electric, the green's the electric, and then I've got rose gold glitter and a yellow stretch. And I did knock out this one. I didn't need to, but I did to show you that this is an option that you can do. But stretch, all right, quiz time, can stretch go underneath glitter? Do, 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 do. Come on. I don't see any answers. This is a quiz, people. Come on. We've got nothing. What? I'm not explaining it very well then. We have no answers. No, but another question. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, any type of vinyl fill in yeah, any spacing be. with knocking out an area. How much negative space do we need to leave? Oh, there we go. We got some yeses now. Yeah. Yes. Well, Jesse was just like, yeah, we are There's a little a, bit delayed. Okay. So. <laughs> um, yeah. Sorry, y'all. Yes. Yeah, now Don't they're forget all about through. the delay. <laughs> and now we just got four yeses. Like, I we're really, good. All right. Five. Woo! Seven, <laughs> six. Yay, we did something right. Um, I'm sorry. What was the question about the knockout? How much negative space do we need to leave? I wonder if you can... Bianca. Yeah. Maybe that's... No, that one was my full one. Your, your negative space should... It doesn't need to be a whole lot. So if you're doing holographic on holographic, it should be just slightly smaller than the, the one layer to the next layer or the one spot to the next spot. I think it's in the garbage can, Jess. Is there another yellow? Yes, there is. Yeah. Because <laughs> I know the Silhouette Studio software, you can offset it to make it that way. Yeah, like Sadie just said about an offset for her knockouts. Yeah. If we can kind of, I'm just going to kind of show you with this one just because yep. it's a little bit smaller because I did that on purpose. But I would say, like, that's the amount of space. Can you see the blue coming through? Like, yeah. on this side. That's the amount of space that I feel like is comfortable for enough shirt to show through. I don't know what that would be equivalent to in your offset. But if you're an illustrator or Corel Draw, you can kind of think of it as, like, a two-point 
negative space that I think you'd be comfortable with when you're layering. It'll be easy. You'll see clearly where like the one should go and then the other one on top. Um, so kind of it, every design is different though, but that I would say two points is probably like your comfort zone of what, what would be pleasing to the eye. And then also, um, what would not give you any hassle with, uh, transferring. All right, so this one is gonna go, now I made my yellow layer overlap a little bit because stretch, as we know, as our responses came through, stretch can be underneath the glitter. <laughs> um, but I gave myself plenty of space so that way I can line it up easy. And then I, I am also going to, I don't know if you can, if Bianca, you wanna yep. zoom in. I also made it so that my green stem is going to be overlapped by my yellow and my rose gold. So if you can see that, so we have electric, stretch, and glitter. So we're gonna get that all on there. I'm just gonna leave it here and watch you heat press too. Okay, so I'm just gonna peel up my first layer because this is exactly where I want my stuff to be and peel up this layer. All right, and I'm gonna get this one down. And um, back to almost what Jerry was saying earlier about the different putting vinyls on different parts of the garment. Because you're covering it with a non-stick sheet, you don't have to worry about the other design. Like, see how the end of the bunny is right there? It has oh, no effect on... Sorry, bunny. <laughs> <laughs> it has no effect on what you're going to be doing. All right. Now, I just want to make sure that I'm going to line up my other spot and, you know, get this where I want it. So, I'm just going to stick this on. Oh, see, I didn't even line it up right. Hi, Cheryl. All right, stick this on and then take both of my layers. Everything looks good. And I'm gonna put it here where I want it. That looks good there. And I'm just gonna peel up my glitter because that will be my last layer that goes on. All right, so now I'm doing stretch. So get that tacked down, a couple seconds. Perfect. Come on, glitter. Let me just make sure I'm all covered. And you can see I don't have any gaps because my yellow is just a bit bigger. See how that mm -hmm. edge there? So I am good to go. All right, a couple seconds for this one. Wonderful. Let's get that tacked down a couple more seconds. Your full time, 10 to 12. And again, make sure you follow the directions on the website for the glitter and everything else. But Don't be like me. <laughs> yeah, we're going fast for purposes of yeah. the Facebook Live. Yeah. But you do, when layering, still want to follow for that top layer the instructions for it. So the glitter would be higher. All right. So, Bianca, if you want to come yeah. in. And sort of see if the person that was asking about electric, can you see that sheen? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so it looks much different than this is your your flat stretch. So definitely matte in color. There's no sheen to that one at all based on like your electric, which is very shimmery. And then your easy weed with easy weed and glitter. Now, should we mention that? Does work? Mm -hmm. No. So she was just talking about video flex, but video flex has been discontinued. Oh goodness! Do I wanna... work here? <laughs> I, know. I don't think they want to talk about anymore. video flex. It's very disappointing. We have one color left in video flex, and that's the cotton candy that was um that, was like that, that. light light pink. That was oh, like I little, remember yeah. that brand. It had limited colors anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It so. kind of reminds me of. Well, I don't want to go back to that. <laughs> but that Dairy was Queen limited flavors. <laughs> um. Is gonna, uh, excuse me. Is glitter always the top coat when using any vinyl? If you're layering and you want to layer with glitter, oh. it has to be the top coat. I forgot the metal. Oh, the little dots. I forgot the metal. Is it too late? It it, it could it stick? could potentially be too late because I have the glitter, but the reason why uh, we'll show you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to do glitter. Glitter has a thickness to it, and it's gonna give you a a bit of an edge. We're gonna put, 
we'll put this up here because that's where the little dots belonged and we'll see if it works but you sh glitter should always be your last layer because of the thickness of it it's not as thin as the other layers so we'll see we'll see if it works <laughs> i mean that's why we're here right yeah exactly i mean worst case scenario if this happened to you you can always use like a pressing pad to lift up just the area that you're trying to press the little dots. Oops, see? Yep. Perfect example. Look at that. Because the heat didn't get to that yeah. upper section. Why not do what Jess said? <laughs> <laughs> and this is why you guys watch us, because yeah. things happen. We're gonna adjust our pressure a little bit. Oops, ha, -ha. no non-stick. Oh man. <laughs> That's funny. I was gonna have my bunny peel off. I oh, the bunny was going to burn. I'm still not light enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And now, like, the timer's like, whatever. Yeah. I've, been, I've been counting this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll just let that sit for a little bit. All right, we'll see if that fixed it for us. Still doesn't like me. Yep. Metal is just not, not my friend. Let's, um... Hmm. That came right off, huh? Yeah. I have another one. We'll give it another shot. But, lesson to all. It would help if I peeled the right side. Um, glitter should be your last layer. And now we know. I don't think we have a pressing pad up here. Just to make that one area go up instead of... You know what? I have a mouse, a mouse pad. pad. Let's try that. That's a good suggestion. If I can get it back in the same spots. You know, let the flower hang down. And if this, if you like absolutely need this metal to show up on your design and you're like, this is going to fail my flower, use VLR, remove the whole thing and start again. <laughs> That's, you know, last case scenario. Right. <laughs> but there are options. So that's, you know. All right, we'll try that one more time. Let's see if this works. At least you know everything else will be like pressed down fully like it's supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, I mean everything else is good to go now. No, still doesn't like it. I wonder if metal is just at a different setting. Yeah. Since we're trying to cheat and we're not mm -hmm. altering yeah. the times for and the things. Karen just Another mentioned. Another example of why you should follow the instructions right. as well. Because she just said, Karen said, is the metal a cold peel? <gasps> Yes! Yep. Karen, gold star for today! Oh my goodness! She just saved my life! Yes, Karen! Totally! And I was like, what are you doing? I know, I'm not ready. Karen, are you a first time customer? Because that's amazing if you know if you knew that. We've only been doing this, you know, for years now. It's fine. Alright, so I'm gonna follow Karen's rules and wait. <laughs> now just to prove a point yes karen did she come back she's not a first, not a first time customer. customer all right so you know us but <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate the help yes so. yes she's a lovely she's probably sitting there thinking like cold peel ladies I cold know. peel <laughs> but thank you for typing it because you are absolutely right metal is a cold peel see everything else is hot peel you get so used to it moment of truth faked me out I know. All right, Karen, we'll see if I didn't mess it up. See if this will work. Oh, <laughs> our puppies are here. Anybody <laughs> heard that barking? It's taking the other stuff you press too much, causing an adverse effect. Nope. Clearly not. I, yeah. mean, <laughs> I mean, I was just joking. Like it's, I mean, it's, how many times do we press these? And they're, they're yeah. fine. I mean, they're on there. <laughs> Karen learned the hard way. She said, I've had it happen to me before. Uh, but we appreciate it, Karen. Oh, Karen! <laughs> Karen! Look at that, Karen! <laughs> so excited! Oh my gosh. <laughs> it worked! But you know what fakes you out? Because, you know, the electric looks so metallic. Right. Yes, it does. All right. And I think... That's all. As long as we don't have any questions, we are good to go. And Terry said the bunny survived. Yes. <laughs> yes. The bunny looks so cute, doesn't it? 
You really just put them your in little... ringer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bunny's totally fine. Yeah. <laughs> He's on there. All right, well, thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you back next week. Bye.